Stuart, what was your take on that game today? I just uh, really, really frustrated, Scott. Uh, Virgin on real anger, to be honest with you, um, from the point of view that there's nothing much in the game, there's not a great deal happening, neither goalie's had much of a safety make. I think uh, Shamal George has tipped one over for Dan Casey for a speculative effort. And I don't think Liam Kelly's had anything to do. Uh, game sitting at 0-0 going in at half-time and uh, it's our organisation from a, a wide free kick. We're attacking um, and as I say, it's something that I pride myself on. I spend so much time on with the players to un make sure that everybody understands what their job is and what their responsibility is. Um, and we become incredibly naive in that moment. Young Lennon Miller gets sent off. He's 17. He's, a, in my opinion, he's a special talent. Um, he's, been, he's been excellent for us since he's come into the team. Um, so I don't put the blame on him, I put it on the team in general to make sure that we get our organisation better. And from there, Scott, it just felt as if it spiralled in terms of our decision making, a bit of naivety creeping in. Um, and then we start chasing it, we go to a 4-3-2, we're trying to get two strikers up the park and we're trying to carry some sort of threat to get ourselves back into the game. Um, but you know, we can see another penalty. Maybe have been two, certainly the one that was chalked off, um, and then the first goal that we conceded as well. Pure naivety in terms of uh, jumping and allowing the wide player in behind us. So there's any number of factors here that I can point my finger at, but originally the the kind of the, the kind of nucleus of it and the stem of it is that wide free kick that we have an opportunity for us to to test Livingston, and it results in us going down to ten men. And from there, we have done it this season at Tynecastle, and we were excellent with it. Um, but as I say today, that decision making and that sort of unity and that organisation that we've been credited with for a long period of time now um, starts to falter. Um, and from my point of view, that's where the anger kicks in. The players have heard that. The players have. The, the, the players know that and what we now have to do is stew on what is a poor result and ultimately a poor performance um, and we have to pick ourselves up and make sure that we come back a heck of a lot stronger than what we showed in that second half today. I was just going to say because it must be sore as well that you need to sit on a result of like this now for the next two weeks. Yeah again I'm not going to get too carried away because in general we have been excellent you know we have um, we've been really really good as I say there's been a lot of plaudits for how you know, people see Motherwell playing or football when we're in possession. But not only that, where we started our organisation, our discipline, we don't have the ball. Um, and there was little, and there was big elements today that creep in that for me doesn't look like that group of players, doesn't look like, you know, the kind of methods of which we work to. And that frustrates me greatly, Scott. But, you know, um, as I say, when that rears its head once in this whole process, even though we're off the back of three defeats prior to that, um, the performances have been good today. I can't say that. What do we need to do going into the next game? Yeah, listen, I think we have to get back to what is a tried and tested formula. Um, I think we have to make better decisions on the park. I think we have to ensure that in those restarts that we, we, are, we are better organised for and against. Um, and then very simply for me, the, the margin is fine. You know, that's, that, that, that's, it's not a moment where we start to rip up our plan and start to think that what we do doesn't work. It's, it's tried and tested. I think that we know that we can compete and we can be a good side. Um, so frustrating, very, very frustrating. And it will be for me over the next week or so. Um, but what we do is we, we allow the guys to go away in international duty, I think four of them. Um, there'll be a group that have got an extra game, there'll be an extra game in there as well, and we'll keep topping up and working towards what we want to be. Um, and hopefully we can try and showcase that against St Johnson. But that doesn't, you know, that doesn't cushion the blow for anybody, for the supporters, myself, for the players. Um, we all acknowledge what happened ultimately from that free kick wasn't good enough today. Um, and as I say, I take that fully in the chin, and it's my job to ensure that we come back stronger uh, when we get the next opportunity against St Johnson. Thanks, Joe.